Hello, everybody. This is Sisters Intuition. My name is Shelly. Welcome, everybody. Um, we're doing the March reading, so we're on the sign of Taurus right now. So if you have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, there could be messages in this for you. However, it's not going to resonate with each and every Taurus. Check your other placements. It's a general message. Take what fits. Leave out the rest, right? If it's not your message, leave it for the Taurus that it belongs to. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. If anybody would like to donate to the channel or get a personal reading, you can get all that down there in the description box. If you have trouble reaching me by email, I have my personal phone number down there. You can just contact me and we can deal with this over the phone, right? Um, if, please don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. I'm trying to get my channel growing. I appreciate each and every one of y'all by helping me doing so, okay? Um, other than that, uh, you can follow me on Facebook. I go live there each and every day. Uh, Shelly Evans, go over there and hit the follow button, uh, and I always give a notification to everybody before I go live. If you'd like to catch me live, you can do so by doing that. And you can catch me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. All right, so here we go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of March 2022. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of March 2022. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Okay. So we have the fourth house here. This right here is about home. It's about security. Um, it's about um, you going towards success, feeling secure, working towards some kind of excitement towards your home. We have the eleventh house here. Okay, so um, there could be some stuff that you could be working with the humanity, working with the community. Uh, you got some hopes and wishes, right? And you're doing this for your future, right? This is wishes. And, you know, you're doing this for future towards your stability, for your family. Okay. Uh, maybe wanting to be purchasing a home, just getting on stable ground. And you have the Sagittarius card here. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or have it highly aspected in your chart. Uh, there's a lot of wisdom going on. Somebody could be very, uh, have a lot of wisdom, be a very wise person. They could become some kind of intuitive psychic. Somebody got a lot of insights and understanding going on. And, um, and somebody's starting to do a lot of understanding of things, okay? All right. We have this. That was the karmic uh, cards. Now I'm using the star seed. So Taurus, sun, moon, rise, and Venus for the month of March. Taurus, sun, moon, rise, and Venus for the month of March. What do you have for Taurus, sun, moon, rise, and Venus for the month of March? Taurus, sun, moon, rise, and Venus for the month of March. Okay. Fall into my arms. So spirit is telling you to surrender. It's time for you to fall into their arms. You know, could be doing a lot of prayer. You could be at the mercy to surrender it all, praying a lot, giving it to God. Um, the life is getting extreme, and you're going to be holding, you know, a lot of things that's going on, and it's going to get extreme, and you could be doing a lot of praying, you know, just giving it all to spirit. And somebody's wanting to right some wrongs. Somebody could be wanting to come in. They could be wanting to say, I'm sorry. Some guy could have uprooted. It could have left. Um, you know, and, you know, somebody's wanting to come in and right the wrongs of the past. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is the Kipper Deck. Messages for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of March. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of March. Okay, the house. So, yeah, you could be having a home with this person. You could have a family with this person. You could be purchasing a home. Okay, why is the house here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? Yeah, you could be having, you could have children, the child here. You could have a child. Uh, you could be the man of this child. You could have a family with this person, okay? Um, somebody could be locked up and incarcerated at this point in time, okay? Hmm, what else for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? Courtships. So it's not could we want to come in and start a courtship. Okay, there's been an ending. Um, the coffin is here. So if there's been a uh, loss, a uh, physical loss, I'm sorry, my condolences, prayers for you and your family. Okay, but I think this is a physical ending. Somebody could have ended, this could have been somebody from your past, okay? They could have ended something with a false person. It could have been a Gemini, okay? They could have found out that they was a false person. They could have ended this. And now you could be wanting to come in and have a courtship, and you could have a child with this person. And you could be wanting to be the main male, right, in this woman's life. And you could be wanting to create a home, all right? Have some kind of home and security, right? Working towards some kind of peace, all right? These are the T. 
Okay, what's the T cards? All right, so we have what we have for Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We got somebody sitting back and holding a grudge, a grudge holder. So it's not good to hold any grudges because it's just, you know, it's not condoning somebody for what they've done wrong to you by no means. I'm not saying it. But that holds power over you. If somebody, if you got to hold that much anger to hold a grudge for something that somebody's done to you, then you're allowing that person to have power and control over you. So please let any grudges go, okay? All right, what else for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March. Somebody could be caught blocking. Somebody could be blocking you from this person, okay? But somebody's moving on, okay? Somebody could be holding a grudge because somebody's blocking out somebody and they're moving on to the next. Thank you. So, so the person that somebody's ended with, they could be holding a grudge because they are getting blocked, okay? They are. And they're holding a grudge because somebody's moving on to the next. And they're saying, uh -huh, thank you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, yes, yeah, somebody's doing a lot of dirt digging. They're trying to dig up some dirt and shit, trying to start some drama. This is the last dance. Somebody's holding a grudge because this is the last dance that they had with somebody or they had with you, okay? Somebody's starting to get a bad reputation, okay? They could be uh, getting into a sticky-ass situation, got the cactus there. That's a, that leaves a bad taste in your mouth, okay? So I could be using some scary tactics, trying to scare somebody, Okay. Somebody's watching somebody, creeping up, watching them, doing some stalking ass shit because somebody's bankrupt. They don't have any money. They could have somebody in a love triangle, a third party situation. If somebody's looking some up on the internet, they're doing search information. Um, they're researching somebody, studying them. And it could be impersonate somebody online, okay? They're trying to dig up dirt and shit. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March. Yeah, somebody's crying, upset, crying and upset over you, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. We got another tea deck. I'm going to use it as well. All right. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March. Okay. Somebody's met their fucking match. Okay, they can't outdo them because they're just as good as them. You know what? Somebody's very intelligent. This is checkers. This is chess, not checkers, right? You got to know your opponent. You got to know your mate. Somebody could be done with some low vibrational energy. Somebody was dark energy. Very, um, somebody harbors a lot of fear, a lot of anger, a lot of resentment. Um, yeah, somebody's keeping tabs on somebody, what they're spending, keeping up with receipts. And this could be a role model. Somebody uh, is a big inspiration to people. Somebody could have some hidden agendas for this person. Something that they're not telling anybody, okay? All right. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March. Shit, I've done a lot of cards. Too many cards. Let me resuffle that. <laughs> Too many cards. Okay. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March. Which, fuck, I guess I'm taking them because they're all still coming out. Let me catch them because they're all in the floor. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Alright. On the bottom, we have the elephant. So, this has been a long journey, either physically or mentally, but by God, you're coming out wiser in the end, okay? I have to shuffle this in two different decks. It's 200 cards to MB. <laughs> All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March, 2022. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March, 2022. All right, January could be very significant here, okay? All right, we have the grasshopper. So, um, situation in the balance that requires careful attention to so the grasshoppers here. So there's something that's going on, you know, got to have a lot of attention right now. Table. So somebody's at the table, they're putting a whole lot of hard work ahead. Kangaroo is here. All right. It's unsettling times. Need to plan ahead. So this about planning ahead. There's a lot of times going on unsettling so and the spirit is telling you to be careful about putting your claw into anything and taking any risk be very careful you got the turkey somebody's behaving very fucking stupid 
dealing with a woman. So it could be dealing a relationship with a woman, okay? We have the club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. So you could be in this club or be clicked up with somebody and they're going to want to make you do something that you don't want to do and you ain't got to do shit you don't want to do, okay? Marriage could be on the table for somebody. This could be a marriage. Um, you got somebody that's got some psychic ability, but I got they're very intuitive and it's telling you to trust your intuition, okay? You got the ex, you got somebody that's trying to work against you. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect in your life. So some aspect in your life, you are on the right path. The moon. So there's changes going on in your life. The changes in the moon phases, there's changes in your life coming in. Okay, there is success that is coming. The ink pot, problems to be resolved. There could be some contracts or something that needs to be signed. Uh, some kind of problem that needs to be resolved. And the kites may be going on a vacation. And we have the cobweb. Protection from negativity beyond your control. So spirit is letting you know. Somebody might be trying to get you hung up in some bullshit. But you're going to be protected from all negativity that's beyond your control. They're going to protect you. So, you know, you just say thank you to spirit and keep it moving, right? All right. Let's see what we got going on. Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of March 2022. Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. For the month of March 2022, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2022, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2022, one more time, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2022, uh. All right, we have the Virgo card, the Hermit card. So somebody is doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking right now. This could be you're the person you're dealing with. Somebody is um, could be a alone right now. They could be uh, cut off from everybody, uh, doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking, like I said. All right, we have the Page of Cups. You could have children with these people. But there's some kind of love news coming in. Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be that, but it could be somebody that's just very loving, very caring, very stable. Love flows through this person, okay? Five of Pentacles. You could be feeling like you're, you're having some hard times, like you're down on your luck right now. Could be having some money problems, justice. You could be dealing with some legal issues right now. Um, could be dealing with a Libra. That's a Libra card, okay? But the justice is here, so there's a cause and effect. Some of actions has caused them to maybe have some run-ins with uh, law enforcement right here. Then we have the Page of Wands. There's some kind of good news coming in. Um, somebody could be very artistic, okay? And the Two of Cups. So there could be a relationship coming in. Um, yeah, you're dealing with somebody that's very psychic, very intuitive here for sure. Because I do have the Pisces card. The, um, somebody paying attention to their intuition. All right. So... What it looks like for you is you got some love news coming in. You could have your children um, that's coming in too. What's missing is you're missing somebody that's loving. You're missing somebody that's stable. You're missing somebody that's caring. Um, somebody that you know cares about your emotions. Um, you know, what you're trying to hide, though, somebody's trying to hide the hard times that you're having. Uh, if you're having trouble with finances, somebody's trying to hide that fact they don't want anybody to know. Um and where you can find the light at is justice. Somebody is going to have some kind of justice. Justice will be served. Somebody's getting some kind of karma here. Um, somebody is uh, having some good news coming in. And somebody's about to see this, okay? And uh, how you're moving forward. You're moving forward in a relationship. We're trying to figure out how, you, how you're moving forward in this relationship, okay? Um, anyhow. Somebody is going towards, you could be starting a new business. If you're dealing with anything legal, waiting on a payout, there could be some kind of money coming in, money from somewhere, okay? Uh, they're, they're, I have the death card here. This is the sign of Scorpio. Somebody could be going through a transformation. Uh, there could be some endings going on, okay? And you could be dealing with a sign of Pisces. Somebody's very psychic, very intuitive. King of Cups, somebody's very intuitive. Somebody's very compassionate, very loving, but they're very intuitive, Okay. And somebody could have some good news coming on, and um, if they're doing any kind of business thing right here, um, that there's definitely something coming in good here, okay? So, 
Those hard times could be ending, right? Clarify this page of cups. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Yeah. So the sun, you could. This could be a Leo. There could be some uh, love news coming in from a Leo. This is somebody that could be in the spotlight. That could be working towards success. Yeah, nine of pentacles. This is somebody that's relying on their self. They're by their self. They're alone. They're being independent. They're buckling down. They're relying on themselves. This could be somebody's been doing shit on their own for a minute, right? But they're about to go towards their success. Nine of pentacles. This could be somebody that's going to be very stable. Queen of pentacles. They got some kind of money coming in. Uh, somebody's very big hearted. Very social. Uh, somebody works with their hands, maybe. They're moving forward into calmer water, six of swords. Could be some travel involved. But somebody is wanting to hold on to this person, okay? Somebody's wanting to hold on to this person, maybe because of stability or whatever. Um, but, yeah. But, yeah, what, what, what is being... Um, Coming in as a Leo, you know, this could be a Leo that you've got kids with. It could be somebody, a Leo, coming in that you love. You're sending some kind of message of love, okay? Clarify this Queen of Cups for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March. Clarify this Queen of Cups for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of March. Okay, judgment. Yeah, somebody's taking a judgment, yeah. So if somebody's dealing with anything legally, uh, you could be getting some kind of written communication that uh, it's going in your favor, that you're going to get recognized, judgment. Uh, it's going to go in your favor. You could be getting a judgment of some kind of money here. Uh, other than that, this could be something that you've been praying for, okay? It's son of Aquarius, you know. Um, you've been praying for this, and you've, been, you've had faith. You trust and believe that there's going to be some way that you're going to be able to heal this person, heal this with this Queen of Cups. This might be what you've been praying for, and it's going to come in. This could be somebody that's a healer, the star. Could be somebody, yeah, somebody that's a healer. Somebody that's very loving, very caring, very psychic, very intuitive. So this could be a healer, okay? But, you know, there could be messages here. Somebody, you know, traveling. Could be travel involved, and somebody starting a new star. Somebody's made a judgment call to maybe start new. Okay, maybe do some traveling. Five of Pentacles. Clarify this Five of Pentacles for Taurus. Okay, so there might be some unresolved issues here. There could be a Queen of Swords and a Queen of Wands here. Okay, there could be uh, needing to cut out somebody. Could be cutting out a. Um, could be cutting out a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be cutting out a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There is a, a ending here and birthing something new, okay? Um, so you could be having hard times feeling down on your luck, and you're not needing to cut something out, right? And maybe start something new here. Uh, this is moving forward, and whatever hard times you had, that shit is going to balance out, Spirit said. There'll be equal give and take, okay? And there could be... Uh, you know, working towards success, towards having a home with each other. Could be some communication coming in. You could be struggling right now, having a lot of challenges, a lot of burdens. Be, you know, uh, having money issues. And you could be a father, okay? But this could be somebody that's an emperor, somebody that's really bossed up. You know, they could be starting their own business. Uh, but, yeah, the, the hard times is fisted to balance out, okay? Clarify justice for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So, yeah, this is yes to the past. So you could be getting your justice and your good karma from somebody in the past. It could be somebody you got kids with. It could be somebody you got a past with, and that's a yes card. And it's about you taking action. It could be towards a Leo. You want to take action towards your success, towards your happiness, towards somebody that's very abundant, very stable, okay? But that is your good karma coming, right? Tell me about the Page of Wands. Clarify the Page of Wands for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of March. Clarify the Page of Wands. Okay. Yeah, there's a decision that has to be made. There's decisions, there's choices that has to be made. There's somebody that has to be avoided. Somebody needs to be cut out. Okay. Yeah, Ten of Cups. You know, you could have, this could be good news. This could be somebody you have a family with. You know, somebody that you want to have some kind of excitement, some kind of success, some kind of happiness with your children. Okay, this is something you prayed for. There's messages. There goes that page of swords. You could be watching. Somebody could be watching you. You could be watching this person. The Ace of Wands has come out again. There's a new start here with travel, but the Seven of Swords. There has been some shit that went on before. There's been some uh, sneakiness going on, maybe going in behind the back of that. You know, maybe you missed some opportunities here. It makes you sad. Maybe you was away. Uh, but the Magician is here. You know, you've manifested this, okay? But you have to make decisions, right, on where you want to invest your time and energy. And I think you want to invest this time and energy toward your family to get some kind of results. But you're at a crossroads. you got to do some kind of planning here. Planning on how you're going to do this, okay? All right, clarify this Two of Cups for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
Yeah, the will of fortune is here. Yeah, this is destiny. This is fate. This could be somebody that you are not speaking to right now. Somebody there's a lot of arguments and drama with most time, but the will is in your favor. This is your destiny. This is a turning point in your life. This is about putting the work in, okay? There could have been some options before in the past, you know, some going backwards and forwards. Could have been with a, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could have been with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. But there is somebody that's having a new beginning here, okay? This is the father. You could be a father here. There could be a father that's not present. But, you know, there's some challenges that you're, you're having to overcome, right? But as long as you put forth the work and the effort, I see that the will is in your favor, you know, that, you know, just keep away from the drama and the arguments, and I see that shit could be working out, okay? You dropped the damn card. I don't know where it went. All right, let's see. Let's clarify. Why is the high priest... The King of Cups and the Page of Pentacles here. Clarify this High Priest, Page of Pentacles. High Priest, Page of Pentacles, and King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify this High Priest, King of Cups, and Page of Pentacles for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Yeah, this is about moving forward. Yeah, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody's date. This date. It could be dating somebody, but this is somebody's destiny. This is fate. This is a turning point. Okay. This Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be somebody that's very psychic, very intuitive. Okay. This is a, this is somebody's destiny, right? This is what they're supposed to fulfill their purpose. And it is going towards the Page of Pentacles. It is going towards success. Shit is going to balance out. Moving forward and being very, very triumphant. Okay. So, yeah. Going towards ambitions and goals and putting in the work and being dedicated, right? Uh, and wishes being fulfilled. This is something that somebody's been wishing and praying for. And it's happening, baby. It's happening. All right. Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of March. Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of March. Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of March. Okay. It's telling you to remain positive. Remain, remain positive, okay? That's what Spirit's telling you. Remain positive. It's telling you there is no need to worry. Everything is fine. This is a yes, okay? There will be a peaceful resolution within the next few months, and Spirit is letting you know that you are ready. You might be feeling underprepared, babe, but you are ready, okay? So, y'all could be working towards y'all's success together, building that happy family and that success, and I ain't mad at you, okay? So, I hope that this video resonates for whatever reason. If it doesn't, check your placements, check your other signs, okay? It's a general message. Got to know it resonate with each and every Taurus, so leave it for the Taurus it belongs to if it doesn't belong to you. Please do not forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. If you may like a personal reading or donate to the channel, all that is down in the description box. Catch me on Facebook, Sisters Into It. Oh, Facebook, Shelly Evans. I'm sorry. Facebook, Shelly Evans. I go live there each and every day and catch me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. I send you peace, light, and love. Until next time, baby, peace out.